Here's a quick video to show off a new servo motor I've been playing with. I'm still figuring a few things out, but I got most of the basic features working. I saw this ad on AliExpress and thought it'd be fun to play with. I've been doing a few projects with servos lately. They are great because they have encoders that allow you to move them by hand and your control software can read that. The drawback is they are pretty weak. This looks like a good step up from hobby servos or the Dynamixel type bus servos I've been using. I ordered the motor and it arrived a few weeks later. This is what I got. It looks a little different from the picture and quite a bit different from the actual Cheetah robot motors. I did some research and the more pop proper name for these would be Hobby King Cheetah motors. This is an open source project by Ben Katz who I think also worked on the regular mini Cheetah motors. The nice thing about these motors as compared to something like the O-Drive is that everything is contained within the motor. You get a motor, a 6 to 1 gearbox, a driver, and encoder all packaged together. You only need to connect 24 volt power and a CAN bus. The CAN protocol is quite simple. There are only four commands, enable torque, disable torque, zero encoder, and a move command. The move command supplies the desired position, velocity, and three torque values. It replies the same to all messages with the current position, velocity, and motor current. This is the test rig I created uh, for testing this motor. I basically mounted everything to a 24 volt, 17 amp power supply. You can see here's the motor and then I added a little crank that I can easily turn the motor with. Um, over here I have a ESP32 connected to a CAN adapter. Right now the ESP32 is programmed just as a, a pass-through so that uh, it shows up as a COM port on my PC and I can send commands through a little uh, app that I made to make it easy to experiment with. And then there's also a TTL to uh, USB UART to get the UART terminal that uh, is used with the motor. Uh, it's very handy setup. Uh, everything's together. The motor has a lot of torque, so when it starts up and stops, it can jerk, uh, and it's jumped off the table a few times. So this does a pretty good job of holding it all together. This is the UART terminal. When you turn on the motor, it displays a menu like this on the UART has several commands you can do. Motor mode basically enables and disables the motor. Calibrate encoder calibrates the magnetic encoder that's used. This is in case the encoder's mounted a little offset. Uh, it adjusts for that. There's the setup menu where you can set up some parameters. I haven't changed any of these parameters. There's also display encoder and set zero position. If I want to display the encoder, it will show the current state of the encoder. Right now it's not in motor mode, so I can turn it manually. And you'll see the values change. The mechanical angle is supposed to be in radians, but it appears my motor uh, is about six travels about six times as far in a single revolution. So here's a single revolution. This value is about six revolutions uh, measured in radians. You can hit escape uh, to get back to the main menu. That's basically it for the UART terminal. So here's a basic demonstration of the motor moving. I have a little app. I can open the port, enable the motor, send a move command. I've sent a move command with very light torque, so you can see that it acts like a spring. If I double that torque, you can see it's a little stiffer. Maybe add some more torque. Now you can see it's very stiff and very fast. can even go with more torque. And it 
basic like a rock. And I can always disable the motor, move it, if I re-enable it, it'll go back to where it was. Uh, that's basically it for uh, the motor control. I'm still playing around with the tuning values. I eventually want to see if I can use this motor in some sort of CNC machine. I'll probably start out by controlling the motor via high update rate CAN bus. The next step would be to add a step and direction signal to the controller and firmware. If you're interested in trying the motor yourself, check the link in the description. I'll eventually post my ESP firmware and the app I wrote.